Uh, good morning, traders. Uh, good morning, traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, first uh, tips for a bullish uh, scalper. All right? Are you a scalper? Are you scalping uh, currencies? Are you scalping uh, uh, stocks, commodity, gold or silver? Are you a typical uh, bullish uh, scalper? So here we are. If you are, this is uh, okay about the first tips for a bullish uh, scalper. All right. A scalper is uh, a speculative uh, trader uh, that is trading mainly on the lower time frame. Uh, all right. So, talking about the first tips for a scalper, a scalper is also a speculative trader that is trading on the lower time frame looking for tiny pips, tiny profits. All right. So, five pips profit, 10 pips profit, very fast. And we remain in the trade for a short term, for the short term only. So a scalper is a short term trader. In fact, it's a short term of a short term trader. All right, doesn't want to remain in the trade for too long. Five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes. Okay, maximum <laughs> thirty minutes maximum for a scalper to remain in the trade is reasonable. All right. So, how can one become okay a better bullish scalper? All right. So there are a lot of traders that call themselves uh, scalpers, but they are still learning to scalp. Uh, they are making a lot of mistakes because uh, what we have noticed that a lot of traders just go and buy any time the stock has is oversold and sell each time the stock has is overbought, and that strategy will not last for too long because. Uh, it is not going to work. You see here that um, uh, the stochastic was overbought. Uh, the price did not go down. Okay, so it didn't go down. It just went up. Okay, here it is. Okay, you, you stay here for a while. So price going up. People will be taking out as a scalper. They will be taking out before uh, finally. So using trend line, and that's why we're going to explain to you how you can uh, okay become a better a bullish scalper. So first thing first, as a bullish uh, scalper, you want to trade around key levels. Trend lines, horizontal key levels. So trend line plus horizontal key level. If you want to buy, those are the things you need to pay attention to. All right. So as a bullish scalper, you want to buy when uh, the financial instrument breaks above a key level and retests that key level. Break a ball, retest, and turn around. When you see that on another time frame that I call X time frame, on a higher time frame, on a 30 minute time frame, on a 15 minute time frame, breaks a ball, retest a key level on a 15 minute time frame, then you will go now and drop down to your favorite scalping time frame. Is it 30 seconds? <laughs> All right. Is it one minute time frame? Is it two minute time frame? Is it three minute time frame? I prefer three minute time frame and five minute time frame for scalping. Sometimes they may say, Oh, George, what? You're going to the three minute time frame? You better go to the 30 second. All right. So look for breakable retest on a 10 minute time frame, on a 15 minute time frame, on a 30 minute time frame, on a hourly time frame, on a, a higher time frame that I'm calling X. And then drop down to your favorite scalping time frame to look for bullish chart pattern in the vicinity of the retest point. So you go to the three minute time frame, look for bullish chart pattern in the vicinity of that retest point. Look for bullish signal and that retest point on your favorite lower time frame. But do me a favor, okay? Always find a breakable retest on a higher time frame before going to your favorite time frame, favorite scalping time frame to bullish trading. So breakable retest, this will be the first tips for a bullish scalper. So you may say to me, Joe, why are you recording this video? Well, I'm recording this video because I'm a market participant and I do care about a healthy uh, market. If the market is not healthy, majority of market participants end up losing and it's not good market for anybody all right so the next thing apart from this go to a higher time frame 50 minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes one hour look for when a price from a higher high 
perform a higher high in a rising channel. A higher high followed by a higher low is a bullish trading setup on a higher time So financial instrument form a prior high. Now it goes up to form a new higher high. That new higher high is followed by a higher low. A higher low that follow a new higher high, it is a bullish trend set up on a higher time frame. So when you see that on a 10 minute, 50 minute, 30 minute hourly time frame, higher time frame, drop to your favorite scalping time frame, 1 minute, 30 seconds, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, and then to scalp trade in the vicinity of the retest point, look for bullish chart pattern. One more thing, my friend. When you see like this, a higher high and followed by higher low. Make sure that the higher low is corresponding to a key level. I will not repeat that, I will leave it for you. Make sure that the retest point in the rising channel is corresponding to a key level. So, this is the second tip for a bullish scalper. All right. The third tips for a bullish scalper is when a financial instrument breaks above a bearish trend line. So a bearish trend line is a trend line with a negative slope. All right, negative slope, declining trend line. Price breaks above a, a bearish trend line and retest it. At this retest point, you are, so you are looking for break above, retest a bearish trend line on a higher time frame, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hourly time frame, and so on, okay? And then now you switch to your favorite scalping time frame, and in the vicinity of the retest the point, my friend, you want to see, all right? You want to see bullish chart pattern, or you want to see bullish signal, invitation to buy in the vicinity of the retest point. So this retest is happening on another time frame, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hour time frame, but you are not entering your scalping trade on those time frame. Now you are going to your favorite time frame, you drop it down to your three minutes, to your five minutes, to enter your scalping trade as a bullish trader. So those are the things you are looking for on a higher time frame before going to your lower time frame to scalp trade. Isn't it beautiful? So, looking at this financial instrument, the New Zealand dollar Swiss franc currency pair, by the way, this video is for educational purposes only, it's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell okay, any financial instrument. So, here we have a bullish trend. So, there was this low, followed by this higher low, yes or no? Now, the financial instrument from a new high high in comparison to this high here. Are, are, we, are we in agreement? Now, it's pulling back to retest, okay, the bullish trend line. So, this is form on a 30 minute time frame for the New Zealand dollar. So, the spot that we are watching. Is this zone here I'm going to hopefully we'll see, when I switch my time frame, I will see it. I'm going to color it now into orange. All right. So before I change my time frame to a lower time frame because we are seeing a setup on a 30 minute time frame. Now we want to go to a lower time frame to. Uh, to, 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 to look for an opportunity to buy. I want to stress on one point again, my friend, whenever you see in a rising channel like this, all right, and you retest it forming a higher low after a higher high, make sure the retest point is corresponding to a key level, to a support level, to a key level. The reason why I'm stressing on this is because very often, Trader will forget the key point. Prior will breaks will display a new high, high pull back and retest the edge of the trend to the of the channel. But the retest point is not corresponding to a key level. And what usually happen? The price will drop down a little bit more to the key level before going back inside the channel. So that's why I'm I'm, I'm a little bit careful because I don't want you to go and make the first mistake straight away. I want you to never forget this. That's why I'm trying to 
brainwash you. Am I allowed to do that? All right, that, we are doing it indirectly here so that you don't get into any trouble at all. <laughs> all right, again, here, this one here, when you see breaks above a barrier line and retest it like this, all right, make sure that a retest point is corresponding to a key level. So, talking about first tips for a bullish escape line, we can put everything together that. If you are a bully scalper, never buy, okay, below a key level. Will that make sense? Or if you are a bully scalper, never buy outside a key support level. Will that make sense? So as a bullish scalper, you want to make sure that I, you are buying at a support level all the time. You want to find a bullish setup on a higher time frame before dropping down to your lower time frame instead of playing with the stochastic overbought, oversold, RSI overbought, oversold, MACD crosses above is signal line and so on, just doing all sorts of things that is uh, all sorts of things that are violating the basic uh, market uh, principle. So now, we see a setup, yes, now you know, you know, so with 30 minute time frame, we see a setup. 30 minute time frame is a very good time frame to use for what we are discussing here. Now we are watching the orange for because I'm going to go now to a three minute time frame to monitor. So we are now, you can see my orange spot. So we see a setup on the 30 minute time frame. Now we are going on to my favorite scalping time frame. I like three minute time frame, all right? <laughs> all right. In, I like three minute time frame, all right? So you, I've been talking about this for years. So now I'm on a three minute time frame because, so I'm just drawing a trail line here like this. Now, because on a three minute time frame, there's this bearish trail line. All right, one more thing, one more thing. As I was telling you before, let's go back to the 30 minute time frame. You see where we are now? Is it corresponding to a key level? So we have a bullish trend line perform a new higher high followed by a higher low. Is it corresponding to a key level? Yes, it is corresponding to a key level. Can you see? This, this you see where the perform? In fact, we have here what we call a inverted head and shoulder chart pattern in this vicinity here. On the 30 minute time frame, we have an inverted head shoulder. The low of that, let's call it, that's the key level. I'm going to call it now into pink to please the ladies that can trade better than men. Lady can trade better than men. If you are a hedge fund manager recruiting traders, don't, I'm not saying to be assessed, but uh, have like uh, or right, 60% of your team women and 40% men. Now, <laughs> all right. That would be a good thing to do. Women trade better than men. I don't know why, but because maybe women are, are more, how can we say it's okay, multi-talented than men. So this is the key level that we are talking about. So a form a higher high in comparison to the prior high, a higher low on the air. We retesting a bullish trade line on a 30 minute time frame, but we want to make sure that we want to buy at the key levels. That's the pink line. Okay, now let's go to the three minute time frame. Here we are. So we are now, we want to buy as a bullish scalper. Talking about the first tips for a bullish scalper. What? Does it make sense? Okay, all right. So the best scenario, I need, because I want to move on with this video, is that uh, the best scenario will be for this uh, financial institute to break the ball. The bearish trend line on a three minute time frame and then to pull back okay to retest it and then to give us okay to start changing direction here that will be a better entry point here break a ball retest then around again in this zone here that will be a better entry point all right okay so I will not uh, live trade this one now. Maybe I'll record another video when I will be live uh, trading uh, this, uh, okay, a scalping trade, all right? But this is just, okay, few things that we can do, okay? 
few tips that we can apply as a bullish scalper. Okay, like me now personally, as I see now, because the level is uh, the level we are watching six nine eight five. I see now it pop below it. Now it's going down. I may wait for this candle to close. This one here coming out, allow it to close. But the reason why I'm a bit careful talking about this because you need more experience if you want to do this because. Myself, I know other things, all right, apart from what we are discussing here. Personally, I can buy this this uh, currency pair right now. Uh, I don't like, I don't, as a scalper, I don't like to use the market order now. This the other candle is closed now, okay. Here, it's really good. You see him, he went above it now. He's going to try to go to pull back. This is good market now. So, a place a limit order. As a scalper, it's better to use a limit order to buy a 6988. That's you see, it's going back up. Beautiful. That's nice. Phew, look at that. Nice. Okay. Limit order to buy a 6988. You see, there's a 10 pip uh, difference between a 698. Uh, 698. No, it's only 3 pip. So now we see, you see, it's piercing to my limit order a 6998. Before going up, so the idea, um, what I'm trying to do here, because of the reaction, the price, I know other things that I mentioned about. We have a triangle here, so we will prefer. And so because entry at six nine eight eight, I may use a seven pips for this train, which means my stop loss will be below the 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 the, 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 the pink line, the key level that we are watching, seven pip or ten pip. Below from six nine eight eight ten p below that will be six nine okay seven eight, which is uh, somewhere below here. That's it, six nine seven eight. Uh, if I put it on my chart, that's it. And I'll just use a 10 pip stop loss or even less than that, 10, uh, 7 pips. Let's use 7 pips. All right, 7 pips. All right. 81, 6, 9, 8, 1, 7 pips stop loss. All right. All right. This, those, this, those are just few tips and tricks that you can use as a bullish scalper. Will you promise me that from today you will start improving your scalping trade? Oh, George, who are you? Now, this to make you laugh a bit. So the, the point I want to make here, okay, try to do something, okay, about your scalping trade, so you also can become, okay, a better bullish scalper. All right. All right. Okay. Bear with me, please, traders. Okay, so it makes sense. It makes sense. All right. I'm still here, traders, doing something. All right, so does it make sense? So you are bullish, a scalper. You want to buy. You want to buy at the support level, at the key levels. You are looking for a bullish trading setup on a higher time frame before switching to your favorite, okay, bullish, okay, a time frame. With that information, you are able to improve, okay, your scalping a trade. Right. As always, when you learn something new, which we recommend to trailer to do on YouTube, right, you learn something from YouTube, you learn something on the web. If it makes sense, if you agree with it, all right, test it first, all right, test it first, and then try to master it, accumulate the knowledge. Now, next step, practice, 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 until you master it, and then own the method, and then you start using it live. It's like you can learn, okay, how to uh, build a concrete block, all right, on your tool. The next step is to now go and buy the cement, how to mix the cement and, the, okay, the sun, and then to, to, to now, okay, 
start building, okay, a concrete foundation or something like that, all right? So the process of the accumulation of the knowledge, which is free on two, the next stage is the practice. So as a trader, talking about scalping trade, you learn it, okay, now use a demo account to test and retest the system, the method on a live chart when a market is open, all right? So very often as a scalper, you want to make sure your timing of the market is so important. When are you in the market? Where are you buying? How are you buying? Okay. How long do you want to remain in the trade? Those are the things that are very, very important for a scalper. Okay. All right. It makes sense. It is also a powerful. We wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW, uh, 24 uh, traders, uh, talking about, uh, okay, first tips for a bullish scalper. Happy trading to you all and uh, speak to you soon.